Keith, there were so many crashes this morning here in Cincinnati. Police just could not handle them all. They were actually encouraging drivers to exchange information if the crash wasn't serious. And the rainy weather wasn't the only problem. Local 12's Tessa DeTiro is live with information about a spill that caused problems for drivers. Tessa. Well, Paula, this all started earlier this week on Tuesday. Police say they got a call about a tanker that was spilling something all over the road. Kentucky State Police confirms that that tanker was spilling dehydrated lime and it had some serious damage to its underbelly. The lime spilled for 14 miles stretching from the Norwood lateral to the I-71, I-471 southbound. State Police says the driver, Douglas Kenny, thought he hit a pothole. It took several hours that day to clean up 471, but the lime was still on the road on I-75 in Ohio. Officers say when dehydrated lime gets wet, it turns to slippery jelly. It's not a hazardous material as far as inhalation hazard or anything for touch hazard. However, it can cause the roadway to become a hazardous surface, which could then potentially cause collisions to occur. Since last night, Cincinnati police has dealt with 19 crashes on 75 South from the Norwood lateral to Fort Washington Way. A big crash shut down 75 for eight hours. The expressway was shut down between Paddock and the Norwood lateral because of a crash that involved four semis and at least another vehicle. Traffic backed up early, but police diverted off the highway. A semi could be seen off the road and two other cars crashed into each other. So the company that was hauling the dehydrated lime is Bulk Transit. They hired Clean Harbor to clean up I-75. And drivers tonight need to know that they're still cleaning up that road. So things could be stop and go. You should see arrows and directions as you're driving, but pay attention. For now, downtown, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. Back to you in the studio. And Tessa, any word, oh, is she still there, on how long it's going to take to finish all of the cleanup? They No, there was no word on that. So they're cleaning from US 50 all the way back uh, to I-471 South. That was at mile marker four where they pulled over uh, the tanker. So they're cleaning that whole stretch again just for good measure. Maybe it could take days. Yeah, we'll be sure to keep people updated. All right, everybody be patient. And as of now, state police not filing charges against the tanker driver.